What's good with y'all, man? All right. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Adam 22. Lena. His wife getting plowed by a whole nother dude. I've been trying to avoid this, bro, but everybody's requesting this, okay? Everybody's requesting this. You got requests, bro. Follow me on IG. Send me a damn link, all right? And I got you. I got you, bro. Other than that, bro, I got this, bro. They done interviewed dude. That plus. So Adam 22 is with Lena, his wife. We're going to put air quotes on that. This whole situation is food gazy. This is wild, bro. This is the most wild shit since the Zion. All right, since Zion. So we're going to check out this, you know, fair use reaction type stuff to a segment of the interview. Let's get it. I felt like much more relaxed and like I was in a good place with you. And a lot of this just had to do with me just kind of realizing that, you know, the internet shitting on me for stuff that I'm genuinely into is not the end of the world. You Oops. know, like that insecurity is kind of gone now, which is nice. Oh, he's really into it. Into. Well, it's just, I'm just trying to get you to admit that you like it. Oh, I, I feel like I've admitted that at okay. this point. The tweets about me just like so acknowledging, really like, hey, I saw it and I thought it was hot. <laughs> that was like kind of hard for me to write. And I added like the exclamation points out of almost like insecurity. But it was like, you know what? Like, this is how I actually feel. I'm just going to tweet this. It's nice to see you having fun on Twitter, even though sometimes I just don't want to look at it because this is so cringy. <laughs> My tweets are cringy. <laughs> Some of them, yeah. What? <laughs> um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, <clears throat> okay. Oh, oh, I'm getting a call. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to take this. Oh, hello. Oh, this the dude. <laughs> Mr. Jason Love. How you doing, man? It was good. It was good. Uh, we're just doing a little podcast here and uh, figured that we would, uh, you know, have a little wow. conversation with you to see exactly how all this was for you as well. Oh, my God. What do you mean? Busting nuts. This is why I chimed in. Catch y'all. See what's up. Definitely. So, is there? What's the vibe like between you guys? Anything I should know about? There, I don't think there's a, like a really vibe. I think it's like a business thing. But I feel just very uncomfortable with this right now. Because you got plowed by this dude. I felt awkward. A little uncomfortable. Can you tell the him how nervous I was? Bro, like so nervous. Oh my god. I feel so wrong right now. I feel so wrong right now. Like you shouldn't be doing it. That's what it's just work. Okay, no. was telling her but a lot of people have like a cheating fetish. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the, the I feel like you do. Yeah, cheating Obviously, I've done in the do past. Was I a little bit turned on by the fact that I was doing something underhanded? Or take take myself out of it. But like, if you're fucking a girl and you know she has a boyfriend and she's doing something wrong, it's that is kind of though. You know what I'm saying? Because is it a little bit? Wouldn't that mean you got turned See, on by you know, me too? I don't know. It's kind of like let the me. Adrenaline, the adrenaline. That's what I. Feel. I feel you know, so guilty if, if I was the other woman. Okay, so Jason, give me a, a genuine review. How was it? This nigga, you want like a, a, a number scale? This nigga or asking like, him how good the pussy was. Numbers sounds like it could be this hurtful. Is why? But <laughs> if, you, if it's a high number, <laughs> sure. Gives me like a four. Hundred percent, nine out of ten. Really, nine out of ten. Who's a ten? Well, obviously her. Oh. Well, she. Well, it was a nine out of ten. I never, I never grasped an entire ten before. She hurt by that. Room. I don't know if she hurt. Something by that. that could possibly. Be. Top of the next one. Okay, yeah. I'll take a nine then. That's fair. Um, okay, yeah. So a lot of people want to know, uh, I don't know, just like w if I should feel diminished as a man as a result of this. Like the cuck narrative is thing. very, very strong. I just want to get your thoughts on that. And he don't if, give if, if how people should think about that in, in the context of me being, you know, the, the silent third party in all this. Well, I don't know. Like if you look at it in the business aspect, then basically it was just a job, you know. She's high up in her ranks. I'm high up in my ranks. Us two together obviously would make the most, most amounts of money. So it's not so much being a cook. If you're comfortable with it, y'all communicated it prior. Obviously, she said y'all did. So it's not really a cook situation. It's more of like two people coming in. It's just money. business to them, yeah. of course, so cool because that's what they job. It is what it is. Me personally, I don't know if I have enough in me to allow it, but everyone's different. Everyone have different levels of... I would say mental maturity. Well, it would be kind of weird for you to find a dude bigger than you. Maybe they could resurrect Andre the Giant or something. Maybe you could get Brock Lesnar to come through and cut it up for you. But, I mean, you're kind of like the biggest dude that I could think of. I don't know. Pause. It's going to be tough for you to find a bigger guy. Paul. I think mean, yeah, a couple. A couple. Yeah. This whole shit is wild, bro. Like this whole situation is wild. That makes it, you know. <laughs> Definitely. <What? laughs> Lena, Lena is just like shriveling up into a ball right now. I can see how uncomfortable this is making you. Yes, it's making me very uncomfortable. And I'm glad that he's only 
you know, on Zoom and not here right now. If he was there right now, she'd be topping him off in yes, front of Adam. Yes, also I feel like Adam I'd feel very, like... a lot of sexual tension, and I felt like we would have to do a scene oh if you guys were God. both here. See, she's out of control now. I she's mean, on Adam chooses. I mean, bro, he's choosing <laughs> what the hell you want to do, bro. That ain't my See, style. Right, now I'm going to have to I'm really sure most mind guys you next time you're going to an adult event that, that he's going to be at, right? No, but I would be turned on if you were there. Yeah, it's like you're part of it. So you think that if me and you go out to a party and we see him that there's a chance that we'd all end up hooking up after i don't know what his stance is on working with you oh wow, wow. Good <laughs> Fuck that. this man yeah, adam sus oh hell yeah i get it, I get it in he's regards. sus for saying that damn that would be yeah i could see that that would probably kind of make me feel like i had put a cap on this whole situation if we all did it together Good closer. wow maybe that is the three-way that we should do because that would be nah this man is in pretty the closet, viral bro. rather this, than just some listen bro guy. this yeah. Hey, this yeah. man is. <laughs> this thing got the as long closet as I'm not door open. In a chair with my fucking you arms tied one, behind my back shot. or whatever. You gotta hold the no, camera geez. for one shot. All right, so now I gotta rewrite the script. <laughs> yeah, what what do what do people need to know about Jason Love? Since like you're kind of, I, I almost feel like a large percentage, maybe even the majority of the photos that you're gonna be taking over the next year or so, you're gonna it's gonna be people saying like. You're the dude who fucked Adam 22's wife. I don't know. I mean, I know you get recognized all the time, but it's kind of an interesting I, scenario that you're in now, right? I got stopped on the street like four or five times already. <laughs> Normally, it's just to talk to me about me, but then it was like, oh, you, no jump of wife. I'm like, <laughs> I got, yeah, that's yeah. fucking weird. <laughs> wow. Insane. Um, like, take a picture with my wife, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's you're noticed you on the street. Hey, I see you. See, I've only had a couple people say that to me. I'm sure he gets that all the time. Like, what the f Like, that's wild, bro. Right. So, if we do choose to have another kid, that's crazy. how am I going to know it's mine and not... Oh, my God. I can't... No, cut. What? How could what? you be in a situation where you're cool with your you wife smashing me? a dude? Well, I that's one of the good memes imagine. that people have been passing around. It's like me coming up and there's a little black kid inside it. I hate you. I hate you so much. This man, wow. Um, Is, is BBC offensive? No, it's just a visual description. It's not you're just saying it is what it is. You, you see it, that's what it is. Not Th how that's what I'm saying. But I wonder if I get too comfortable with talking about black people shit because of the fact that like all my co-hosts on the podcast are black and stuff. Because I've seen some of these the lily closet, white bro. fucking hipster bitches on Twitter just bitch. raging out, being like, BBC is offensive. And I won't respond to them, but I am thinking in my head, like, How the hell you is have BBC never offensive? been around black people besides oh. getting fucked by them for your OnlyFans. So shut the fuck up. That's kind of what's going on in the back of my head. I don't like using it because I feel like... I just feel uncomfortable using it. I don't, I don't care. If you see a school bus and it's yellow, you be like, where did you park? By the big yellow school bus. What the fuck? That's what it is. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's just, it's a statement of fact. And like, you know, in the real world, fetishization, I can see why that's a bad thing. I guarantee you, know? you should get up you right now. You walk up to an Asian girl wet. and you're like, oh, I'm so turned on by Asian girls. I can see how I that's like a bad thing. So but we're in I'm uncomfortable. Like no, you're, she ain't you're here to satisfy fetishes, right? That's a different kind of, yeah. she nervous because she, um, trying to get some more and this man right. adam just cool with it yeah what, what do you guys want to be part of anything it? in the future that uh we should know about you're, you're going on some trips and stuff for uh for a, a, a brand right oh yeah well i'm going i'm going to europe for about two weeks but i did just drop my book so what's the book good. uh it's called uh louisiana slim the family about my my previous life before i got to adult Really? Because I always wonder that when I see you with the tattoos on your face and everything, I'm like, I wonder what this guy was doing around town before he got into the porn game. A lot of things. I think you get paid for that, right? You get shit on your damn forehead and shit. You make it. Uh, ain't that the truth? Well, we're going to do like a full length interview at some point, but um, I appreciate you banging my wife. Oh my God. Why? And uh, I yeah. appreciate you for fucking my bitch. <laughs> well, I'm a professional, you know. I go in, I knock it out. That's what he's I like, I, I, he's I, like, I, anytime, bro. I cannot hold <laughs> like, it against you, my fuck? friend. <laughs> hey, anytime, bro. I got I you. I saw dog. a few of the the clips. And, uh, <laughs> anytime yeah, you need me to you fuck guys, your bitch, you I got you, dog. <laughs> this is wild. This man is winning. I believe it was mainstream. He probably except I don't know about that whole industry. Their soul is gone. My assistant did give me the idea to submit it for an AVN. I was like, I don't know. I feel like this might be crossing the line. Yeah, Pound Town. You just left Pound Town. I was gonna call it the wedding gift. Mm. <laughs>
for the record, it's not literally your wedding gift, but it, it was something that we kind of like felt more comfortable with after the wedding and whatnot, right? It just makes sense. That's what everyone's latching on. I mean, he's in a good situation. Married, I think about know? it. Mm. So. Think about that. <laughs> All right. Mr. Love, appreciate you. Bye, Jason. Thank you. Bye, Lena. Okay. How was that for you? I felt a little uncomfortable. Uncomfortable why? Is she wet? I mean, seven years in this relationship, never look at a guy, dance with a guy, text back with a guy, nothing. And then I'm having sex with a guy. You know, it's just a lot to process. I've been conditioned to believe it's cheating. There was one time where we went to a, a dinner and there was what another the guy there that just happened to be there and you knew I had slept with him and mm -hmm. you made me feel weird. So, yeah, it's just like a lot to unlearn. You always mention that scenario, but there's a lot more to that scenario that she's not mentioning. And that I've, was not that much more. I felt weird about it for other reasons. Okay. And it was like, it was your birthday and you're just bringing it up. I'm like, oh, cool. Make me think about you fucking this guy over here. Okay. Anyway, I know. You I were mean, mad about it. Cut, I was bro. a little like, mad at, at that time. Day, I was much was less uh, emotionally mature or just, whatever. I'm but, clearly emotionally I immature. I can't. I'm like giggling that you and Jason were just on the call together. So right. clearly, so that I, was awkward for you. Yes. Me and him exchanging and him energy. Talking about it, just being like, I put it down. Blah blah blah. I'm like, ah. Yeah, but he he's smart. He clarifies right away. It was a business move. You know, we we're just making money. You know, which is nice. Yeah, I'm sure he didn't enjoy it at all. I'm sure it's they like, enjoyed this shit. Like, I hope y'all seeing the energy <laughs> that's communicated not. here. They just like trying to act like they don't fuck with it, but they. He said that no one's Adam, been a ten. Adam really is on this. Yeah, shit. but why I should I be a ten? Gotta feel like you're a ten. I don't know, man. I'm... I'll be a ten in your heart, babe. I'll take it. Yeah, but I'm. I'm thinking yeah, about your guts too, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's his wife. That he let <laughs> a whole nother nigga fuck. Okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> so bro, this um, is wild, bro. Actually... All right, I had enough of this. All right, bro. So. You know what I'm saying? Listen, bro. Right then and there, y'all. Here's my opinion on this shit because everybody want to know my opinion on it. This is your prime example of a cuck. Like, I don't know what to tell you, bro. This is a prime example of a cuck. Like, I don't really care to. Like, I don't promote guys even looking at prawn, keeping that friendly on YouTube over here. I don't advise that. I don't think it's good for your mental space. Right for guys in general, I mean, as a grown man, you gonna do what the hell you do. On to this thing, though. Who the fuck let stay wife get plowed out by a whole nother dude? This guy, okay, a cuck does that. Obviously, I don't know this guy, but based off of this interaction, the energy I'm seeing, he enjoys this kind of stuff, right? He enjoys this kind of stuff. It seemed like he's the guy that's cool with being in the closet. He coming out of the closet. I, I'm calling it right now. This man in the closet on some other stuff too, right? This man is playing for the other team too. I guarantee. I guarantee he's going to come out soon. I digress. Adam seemed like he'd be in the closet while she getting railed, right? A train ran on her or something. And he's like peeking out like. Like capturing angles and shit and recording. And he's like, he's sitting there in the closet freaking, you know, <laughs> being a one-handed, two-handed bandit. You know, he going to Kimbo with it. Him and Jerk is in the closet. You know, they partnering on this feature film. You know, he going to Kimbo. He going dual wielding this shit while recording and trying to get the right angle and shit. Like, bro, he seemed like he didn't enjoy it, right? And just trying to bust all these, he busting all these nuts all over the clothes in the closet and shit on the shoes. Hey, bro, this is a wild situation, dog. This is a wild situation. You want to be a cuck, then be a cuck. This ain't no disrespect to no cucks. If you want to be a cuck, be a cuck. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? I'll be one of the guys that you might hit up and be like, hey, bro, can you fuck my wife? I'd be like, eh, are you going to trip? Nah, if it's a guy like Adam talking about some, oh, I'm cool with it. And then want to have, like, that's fine. Sure. All right, bet. What that check looking like? That's about it, bro.